I would like to welcome Tassos Aurelides. Uh, Tassos is the, uh, the founder of the Hellenic Blockchain Association. Uh, if you could come to the uh, to the podium, I would like to uh, thank you uh, as a Bridge Blockchain Association uh, about uh, this year's event. Uh, once again, you're doing uh, a really a really important job uh, keeping up uh, the industry uh, updated and in general trying to to make this forum as institutional as possible. Um, and uh, I'm really looking forward uh, to see how the event is going to be, how the uh, thematology and the objectives and uh, the whole discussions of the sessions are going to take place. Jesus, do you have any uh, any speech or anything you would like to mention about the Hellenic Blockchain Association or the landscape there? About Hellenic Blockchain Association, I could say that uh, 2023 is uh, by far the the most productive, if I can uh, say, year. Uh, we are currently uh, in in an underlying partnership. We are drafting an MOU and an MOC with the, the Hellenic AI Association, AI Catalyst, uh, in order to form a joint uh, effort so that we can uh, consult the Ministry of Digital Transformation in uh, matters uh, of blockchain and AI. Uh, furthermore, uh, we are uh, going to be uh, soon uh, releasing a series of seminars and uh, partnering with two universities uh, in Greece so that uh, we slowly uh, start preaching uh, blockchain technology in uh, IT um, departments of uh, Aristotle University of Thessaloniki and uh, National uh, University of Athens. So, yeah, I would say uh, that's it for now. That's all I, I can say. But uh, we see some uh, pretty positive uh, feedback uh, from the public sector and the government bodies so far about blockchain. I mean, with the new government, which was uh, re-elected uh, uh, two months ago, uh, we see some uh, very positive uh, feedback and goodwill uh, 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 from especially from the Ministry of Digital Transformation. Thank you, um, uh, Tezos. Yes, uh, we. I remember we published um, a paper from National Technical University of Athens uh, in Greece on um, industrial symbiosis networks uh, using uh, blockchain technology. It was, a, it was an excellent paper. So it, it certainly looks like there is um, there is a lot of academic research um, happening in Greece. It's some really good quality. Um, I just wanted to to ask you about uh, government uh, kind of uh, initiatives and in terms of uh, funding for um, uh, in the private sector, also in the in the public sector. Are you seeing that there is um, there is enough appetite and kind of senior level um, I will, support uh... in, uh, for from both? Yeah, that's a very interesting uh, question. Um, so, uh, what uh, do I see practically uh, from the public sector at the moment is um, that uh, they want to, because they, they, they have this motto that they want to digitize and digital transform uh, the whole, uh, 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 let's say, bureaucracy, uh, which is uh, uh, keeping Greece back in terms of uh, uh, of uh, complicated procedures. I see that uh, there is uh, some, we have concluded, if I can uh, use this term, we have concluded that uh, the first use case most probably which the public sector would be willing to put some serious money, if I can say, is uh, the digitization slash tokenization of the land registry. That's the first case which I'm seeing at the moment to be honest. And uh, Xenius Group, the company also that uh, uh, I'm the founder and uh, uh, chief uh, executive officer, uh, is uh, also trying to push into that direction and have some solutions ready for the government. I mean, we are uh, 
uh, constantly lobbying about that. And uh, we are very close, uh, I believe, uh, in the next weeks to have a positive announcement regarding that, uh, about the land registry, I mean. And uh, on another hand, we have also the Athex Stock Exchange, Athex Group, which is called Athex Group, and uh, they are really looking after uh, my publications uh, last year about uh, blockchain ESG solutions and the tokenization of carbon credits. They are really looking into exploring a partnership with us about a blockchain-based voluntary carbon credit marketplace. So I would say these are the two main uh, showcases, uh, use cases that uh, Greece will be exploring both in the public and private sector as major key players, if I can use. Th these are the biggest uh, examples that they can uh, mention right now. Thank you, um, Tezos. Has anybody got any questions for uh, Tezos or for uh, the U European system in general? We can, we can try to type in the chat. So those of you who have joined just now, if you just double click anywhere on the bench and you should be able to sit. Any questions, please post in the chat box. <clears throat> just a reminder that these um, uh, summary of these talks um, and uh, some of your even questions will be published in the upcoming issue of the JBBA as summit proceedings. Um, <clears throat> is um, is Spain here? El Austria? Jesus, um, while we are waiting for uh, questions from the audience, I just wanted to ask you about the the land registry project that you mentioned. Um, is that something that is uh, um, um, proof of concept at, at this stage, or is that something which is already de deployed? Because I know a few countries that are looking into this. So is, is land registry already... Uh, uh, deployed in the in the public sector, or is that still in the experimental stages? Well, uh, to be honest, practically there is not a digital platform for the land registry. There is only still paperwork. Yeah. There is only a paper-based structure. So uh, what uh, we have at the moment is. Uh, as, I mean, as Xenius Group and the Hellenic Blockchain Association, what we came up. Uh, with uh, to the ministry is that um, we have a blockchain ready, a hybrid blockchain, uh, proof of work, proof of stake to ensure decentralization and scalability, of course, with a minimal carbon footprint. And uh, so that uh, we can sustain the digitization of, of all the documents encrypted into the blockchain. So I would say that we, we, we are sort of an MVP level at the moment. Mm. But there is some kind of there is approval from the from the government to kind of go ahead and experiment with it at this stage. Uh, the, this is uh, what we have been discussing, and uh, we are soon expecting uh, to put uh, all of that on paper. Yeah. So there is a, a verbal agreement. Uh, to begin with, but uh, of course, you know, until uh, we see that uh, written on the paper, uh, we cannot make any official announcement still. 
And this is one last question about the uh, blockchain and, and crypto startups uh, in Greece. So they are, if they're looking for guidance and advice, how can they contact you or, or your association? Are you uh, a member-based association? And uh, where can they get uh, more advice on this? Well, the, the, the structure is very easy. We are working with a membership uh, a structure, both for individuals and uh, legal entities. Uh, there are not a lot of uh, blockchain companies in Greece. If we exclude actually uh, two uh, small-sized mining companies, which we're talking about uh, a very small uh, capacity, less than two megawatts of mining, to give you an example, um, the, the rest of, let's say, blockchain-based companies, it's two, two, and still the use cases they are experimenting with uh, are not something, uh, I wouldn't say that it's uh, sophisticated. So at the moment, still the ecosystem is a bit immature in Greece. We didn't have any inquiries practically to advise or to guide uh, any company uh up to you know to a certain degree i would say and uh, because also one thing i forgot to mention uh now we are in also uh, uh extensive uh, talks with the hellenic uh, mark uh, hellenic capitals market commission the greek sec sort of to become their advisors also on how to implement and enforce mica within greece uh we still see that the uh, even though there is a large retail crypto audience in Greece, still the business side of blockchain in Greece is really mature. We're talking about uh, less than 10 companies combined. Yeah, got it. Thank you. You're welcome.